See, this is the thing about a thumbnail. The, what's the goal of a YouTube thumbnail? The goal of a YouTube thumbnail is to communicate to you two things. The, some people would say is the, the goal is to get you to click. But the problem is that a clickbait thumbnail will get you to click and then you'll be like, F this guy and not watch the video. So the goal of a thumbnail is to one, communicate to you what is in the video in such a way that when you click the thumbnail and watch the video, you feel like you got what you wanted and are not disappointed. And two, to get you to click the video. So there are a whole bunch of honest, accurate thumbnails that are boring and not eye-catching and you won't click them. But the problem is that sometimes people get a little too up their own butt when making thumbnails. I'm talking about myself. I don't want anybody to think I'm pointing a finger. And you'll, you'll like think of this really clever pun or really clever joke or really clever reference. I'll give you an example of it. I'll give you an example of it. I got it. Um, oh, crap. Uh... Shoot. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Uh, I, found, I remember. It took me a second to remember the pun I was trying to make. So this is an example of it. BL Heli 32 setup, not in sync with master. What does it mean? And the joke that I put Time on the video bro. was... I'm a thumbnail. Bro. Come on, come on. Load, load. Please, where's the thumbnail? I just need the thumbnail, you piece of... Where's the thumbnail? Hello, vidIQ. Where's vidIQ? Oh, I don't get vidIQ, so I don't get the thumbnail. The joke was that, that I put a picture of the Backstreet Boys, and then I named the video Not In Sync. Now, that's a, that's a clever and funny joke, in my opinion. It's not in any way going to make somebody want to click the thumbnail, though. That's an example of a time when I got a little too in my... I was just too impressed with my own humor. Fortune mentions the uh, Orca video. Bring your Orca goggles back from the dead. I want to know the story behind that thumbnail. <laughs> well, so <laughs> that thumbnail... <laughs> I'll tell you the story behind that thumbnail. That thumbnail... Um, <laughs> uh, here. <laughs> I mean, can I full-size this thumbnail? There we go. So here's the story behind that thumbnail. Bring your orca goggles back from the dead. So I settled on the title, right? The title is also highly, it put a lot of effort into it. And then I thought, okay, so one of the, one of the sort of rules of thumb is that the thumbnail should tell a story. It should, it should, there should be like a little miniature story about the video. And what's bad about this thumbnail is that bring your orca back from the dead is too literal. So what I'm supposed to be doing in this thumbnail is like doing some kind of like ritual, bringing my thumbnail back from the dead. Like Kebab said, uh, it, why didn't you like have, you know, like a bone through your nose and like some kind of, you know, like a skull. He was like, then he was like, I don't get it. I'm like, yeah, that would have been, it would have been helped to sell it. But I was like, okay, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to have the goggles and I'm going to be like, ooh, bringing them back from the dead. And then I thought I had a, I had a stain on my shirt. I was like, F. And then I thought, oh, well, I'll just take my shirt off. And then it'll be like, you know, I had this image in my head of, you know, the, 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 the witch doctor around the fire bringing back from the dead the goggle. And then I was like, in the end, it's a it's actually a pretty bad thumbnail because it doesn't really communicate what's in the video. Like if I had started the video with a funny sketch of me in this lighting going, oh, I will bring these back from the dead. That would have been good. That's why you have to plan your thumbnails before you shoot the video, not the other way around. Um, so it's a bad thumbnail in that respect, but... <laughs> it, it definitely got clicks and I think most people understood from the title what the video was about and didn't feel like they got clickbaited uh, when they watched it. 
Mike Berkman always does the rituals topless. I am a necromancer. Confirmed. <laughs> My wife was nowhere near this situation. Like usual when I'm topless. <laughs> My wife. Uh, I clicked that video specifically because... Here's the thing. I think there were people who clicked that video just because the thumbnail was hilarious and they weren't even mad <laughs> when the video didn't contain it. That, they were like, ah, that's cool. I got, I got it. <laughs> so that's the story there. 